It's that time again. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the products that I fell in love with in the month of April. As you guys probably know, if you've watched my channel this month, I tried a ton of new makeup and all these things I've obviously talked about on my channel before, but I really made sure to narrow it down to the products that so far have been like pretty life-changing for me. There are still products that I'm still, you know, testing out to see if they'll eventually make it into a favorites video. Some things I just haven't had enough time with, you know, but all these things I have, I've used them several times and I really love them. I've got some body care products and then also makeup, of course, so we're just gonna dive right in. So we're gonna start off with some body products. Now, I actually meant to mention these last month and completely forgot, but over Christmas last year, I got sent this really fun package from Honest Beauty. And just last month, I opened up the package and like started to finally use some of the products they sent me, and they sent a bunch of really wonderful self-care products, one of them being this bubble bath. So this is the Honest The Wind Down Bubble Bath and I love this stuff, you guys. I love the packaging, it's in a glass bottle. It comes with an aluminum cap, but they also had a cork in there, so that's what I put in it, and I just think it looks so cute sitting on my bathtub. But the smell of this is so lovely. It's not over the top, it's so calming, and it really does bubble up nicely, and I feel like the bubbles last a long time. I'm a huge bubble bath fan, so I'm obsessed with this. I really, really love it. They also sent over their Soak It Up Bath Salts, which is also the same scent, so it's a calming myrrh scent. As you can see, I've been using these quite a bit as well. You don't need that many of these. I think it's only, yeah, two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons that you need every time you take a bath, so a little goes a long way with this. But these two together, I'm obsessed. If you're looking for a self-care moment this month or with Mother's Day coming up, you know, this would make a really great gift or for anyone's birthday. It's just, I feel like everyone would love products like these and I certainly have been loving them. I love that Honest also has like really good clean ingredients too, so it's nice to know you're soaking in good quality products, you know? So I absolutely love that. I also tried out the brand new Naturium Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. Let me tell you, I love this stuff. It's a thick lotion to where you really feel hydrated, but it sinks into the skin so beautifully. It's not sticky or greasy whatsoever. And I love that it's fragrance-free, okay? I love fragrance-free products when it comes to body care because I like to use my own perfumes. I don't want anything to like clash with the scent that I'm wearing. And a lot of times, if a body product is too heavily fragranced, it gives me a headache throughout the day. So I really love that this is fragrance-free because then I can, you know, pick my own scent using a perfume and not worry about the scents clashing and not worry about getting a headache from having it all over my body all day. So I really love this. It says it has omega fatty acids, shea butter, B vitamins, plus sodium PCA, which I don't really know what that is. Oh, here it is on the back. It's a natural humectant. Okay, it's really fun though. I love Naturium and I also, you guys know, I've been using their really hydrating body wash. I'll have it linked down below. I mentioned it in my last month's favorites, but those two together, like the nourishing body wash and then moisturizing with this after my bath or shower, it's a really great combo, I'm obsessed. Plus the packaging, like the pump bottle, is just so good. Speaking of Naturium, I also became obsessed with the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. I mostly use the shade Clear, but they do have tinted shades that I also really, really love. I've just gotten the most use out of the clear one because I've been leaving it up in my bathroom and it's been my lip mask at night and it really does work. I love how it feels on the lips. The applicator is really nice on this as well. It's got like a little metal, so it's kind of fun to apply. It feels very cooling, but another great Naturium product. And I love that Naturium is like affordable too, so it always makes me happy when I'm able to find skincare or body products that don't break the bank that are like really good and perform as well, if not better than a bunch of the high-end products that I've tried when it comes to body care and skincare. So big fan of this as well. So that's all I have for like body care and skincare. So let's move on to makeup. I did not think that this was gonna be in my favorites video, but I've used it several times now and I love it. It's the Jaclyn Cosmetics First Base Eyeshadow Primer. This is what she collabed with her mom on and they created an entire collection. If you didn't see that video, I'll have it linked down below. But this is the eyeshadow primer that they created. It's a very sheer formula, but that's what makes it so special. It blends out on the eyes like a dream. It does not look or feel heavy or cakey on the eyelids. And eyeshadows blend on top of it like an absolute dream. So I haven't ever tried an eyeshadow primer quite like this, which is why I'm 
head over heels for it already. If you're somebody that wants more longevity with your eyeshadow, but everything else feels too heavy, definitely give this a shot. It's been a go-to for me. Like it's been the eyeshadow primer that I've been using on a daily basis since trying this out. I also tried out some eyeshadow palettes this month. And I again, I wanted to make sure I put in the eyeshadow palettes that I've been able to use a few times. Um, the first one being the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Rose Palette or Major Dimension 2 Palette. And this is the rose one. It is so stunning. This is actually what I have on the eyes today. I decided to create a little bit more of a soft look with this, but you can see how much I've used this already this month. It is so stunning. The color palette is just perfect for spring and summer. I like how you get a little bit of like a gold and peach undertone in there as well. So it's not strictly pink shades or rose tone shades. It's really fun. I love the different textures. This formula is fabulous. I can't say enough good things about it. When I bought this, I also picked up the eyeliners in the collection, which I'm also wearing. I'm wearing the burgundy on the top and then the gold on the bottom. So I wanted to kind of throw those in there as well because I think they do really complement the color story in here and just complete the look in a really beautiful way. So I love the eyeliners too. I also told you guys how much I've been loving the Pat McGrath Divine Mothership 6 palette. Um, I don't know if it has a name further than that. I think it does. I'll have it linked down below for you guys, but here it is. I've worn this a couple times on my channel and I will have that video linked down below as well if you wanna see me create my most recent look with it. I use the purple, but this palette, it's so beautiful. I'm mostly obsessed with the dark brown shade in here, but they're all just so fun and really wearable. I love Pat McGrath textures. I picked this up during the Sephora sale, so I saved some money on it. I always like to, you know, pick up Pat McGrath when things are on sale because it is so pricey, but I'm especially happy that I picked this palette up. The color story is more beautiful than I thought it would be based off of like just looking at it. And I'm just basically really happy that I bought it and I'm really happy that it's in my collection. Speaking of Pat McGrath, I also ended up picking up another shade in the blush that I love. I love the shade Flirtatious, but I bought the shade um, Divine Rose. This is the blush I'm wearing right now. I've been loving this. I love the tone and undertone. It's a little bit brighter than the shade Flirtatious and a little bit more on the pink end, which I really love. So I already knew I loved the formula of this, but I'm really happy that I picked up a new shade and it's been one of my go-to blushes this month ever since I bought it. So really happy that I have that in my collection as well. Something else in the complexion category that really floored me this month. And this is also something that I recently tried, but I've been able to wear it a few times to wear I just know it's good, you know? You know when you find those products, it's like, I don't need a whole month to test it out to know it's like gonna be a favorite. That's this for me. This is also from the Jaclyn Cosmetics collection that she did with her mom. And this is the Powder Move Loose Setting Powder. I wear the shade Sheer Fair. This is what I have all over the skin. This is such a beautiful, lightweight, luminous powder. So for me, I do get oily in the T-zone. So I've learned to kind of go light, you know, in the T-zone with this powder because it does have a bit of a glow to it, but I love how smooth it makes your face look and also how glowy it makes it look. So you guys know I love to set my face because I feel like that's where the longevity is when it comes to foundation for me, but I don't always want it to look you know, cakey or powdery. And this is a product that doesn't do that. It really blends over everything so beautifully and just looks like your skin. So it's a really great formula. I don't think I have anything quite like this, which is why I feel like I fell so hard in love for it because it really adds to my collection, which is hard to do these days because I have a lot of makeup, but I'm really enjoying this. Next up, this is something that I wasn't expecting to like freak out over as much as I do and as much as I am. But this is the Kendall and Kylie collab and they did this lip crayon set. I've mentioned this a few times now on my channel. I am obsessed with this lip trio. Let me swatch them for you in case you missed the videos where I tried these. You can't buy them individually, but honestly, I love all three shades, so I'm not mad about that. Let me swatch the shade Low Maintenance. This mauve tone is absolutely stunning. I'm beyond in love with this. Plus I kind of love the lip crayon situation. It's just easy to throw on the lips and you can really blur them out if you want to or build them up. So I really like that about it. I'm wearing this one. This is called Iconic Duo. It's a little bit more of like a peachy nude. So I thought it looked really good with the Patrick Ta palette. And then As We Should is more of a bold lip. Well, I shouldn't say bold. It's just more of a 
rosy pink, which is also such a nice color. Really a big fan of this. I really love the colors and I think they're all very chic. Again, the packaging is really nice. I love the lavender, so really enjoyed that. At the very beginning of the month, or maybe it was at the very end of March, so I don't know if I put this in my March favorites video. I don't think I did because I hadn't used them enough, but I did a whole video on the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lip Products and by golly, these are good. Like they really do last all day on the lips. I'll have that video linked down below if you missed it. You have to give it a good shake and I'll, I'll swatch the shade that I use the most. This is the shade called Koi. So this does give you a little bit of a glossy sheen, but it really, I mean, the color stays on the lips. So this isn't a product that I wear every day, but it's something that if I need or want a bolder color and I want it to last all day long without worrying about it, that's when I reach for this. Plus it's from the drugstore, so it's just like that much better. They have so many gorgeous shades. They've got nudes, they've got brights. Again, in that video that I did, I swatched them all. So if you want to see all the colors on me, I'll have that down below. I also picked up this Revlon Color Stay Overtime Lip Product in the shade Unlimited Mulberry. This is a similar vibe to the Maybelline one. I would say it's a little bit more sheer, a little more glossy. So basically you put this on the lips, you let it set, and then you apply the gloss on top. And it's just like a very long wearing lip product. Here's what that shade looks like in the lineup. So you can see it's a very nice purpley undertone, but that's what I really like. It's a little bit more sheer than the uh, Maybelline ones and it lasts a really long time on the lips. So there's just been days where I want to wear a lip color and just not worry. And these have been my go-to products for those situations. And they're both in the drugstore, actually, I just realized. So that's a plus. And they really have been like, they've lived in my purse, you know? for those just in case moments where I need a lip color to really stay all day, they've been my go-to. So that completes this video. I, I know I tried so many products last month or this month, but these are the things that like I know for sure I'm obsessed with. There's so many things that I'm really enjoying right now and still testing out. So stay tuned for next month's video to see what trickles into, you know, my favorites then. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing, you know, a mix of things from body to makeup. So let me know in the comments if you guys have any of the same favorites as me. I would love to hear from you or if there's something that you tried out this month that you're obsessed with that you think I need to try, also leave that in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today, folks. I hope you had an amazing April and I hope you have an amazing day today, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.